there's water, and then there's water. Jonathan Vigliotti catches up with a man who can tell the difference. Like there's so, so many different. amazing different varieties yeah, exactly. of water. Before you write off what's happening inside this swanky West Hollywood hotel as so L.A. That's a natural carbonated water. There's something you should know about Martin Risa. His palate is considered so extraordinary. The Rocky Mountain three ways from Australia. The U.S. government gave the German native the rare so-called Einstein visa to share his skill with Americans. Water without flavor does not exist, in my opinion. Every water has a taste profile. Risa is America's first certified water sommelier and one of around only 250 in the world. Like wine sommeliers, Risa studies the unique, albeit subtle, flavors of bottled water. Water from the Fiji Islands tastes differently than a water harvested in the Black Forest in Germany. And water is the universal solvent. It will leach out different minerals created by nature. So this minerality is actually the taste. So you're tasting the landscape? Yes. Risa's sixth sense for filtered spring water has made him the butt of jokes at late night talk show tables. It's water. Great. <laughs> I actually like people who are saying this is crazy and this is sporous because there's a chance for me to touch them on a different level, to say, wait a minute, give me the chance to explain that water is not just water. Risa designs water tasting menus for restaurants, which feature familiar and lesser known brands that he pairs with What's seasonal foods. The refreshments of the fruit complexity suddenly like pops in your mouth. Like Fiji water with a Thanksgiving turkey. Because a lot of people always say like, but Martin, Fiji water, really? It's so accessible, you can find it everywhere. I think it's very unique due to the very interesting mineral composition. Or a sparkling spring water from Idaho with a holiday ham. So I think some carbonation would be fun to cut through the richness. Reese's water recommendations range in price from a few dollars to a few hundred, like this bottle of glacier water. The only bottles he refuses to touch are those labeled as purified or distilled. These brands are actually nothing else than highly processed filter tap water. For me as a sommelier, why should I drink that? That's created in a lab. I don't care about that. I want to taste nature. Then we had three base, 1,000. And it's that thirst for nature that has some spending 75 bucks to attend Risa's water tastings. Did you ask anybody, hey, you want to come to a water tasting with me? Yeah, I, I did. And they, they kind of looked at me like, uh, we, we'll drink our, our water at home. I was like, all right, suit yourself, suit yourself. Not lost on anyone is the privilege of it all. Globally, one in four people does not have access to safe drinking water. So let's face the bigger picture here. It's not for me just drinking bottled water and be fancy in a nice restaurant in Beverly Hills. I want to bring awareness to water. Let's rethink and let's be thankful that we have clean and safe drinking water on a daily basis accessible to us. So it's not just about taste, it's about opening people's eyes. Yes, absolutely.